Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tumor Ablation Probe Module uh, tutorial in console. Uh, what we will be doing today is making a model like this. Uh, and we will be using the dual heating module in console to apply electrical current that gets converted to heat by the resistance in, in the probe to uh, cause tissue damage based on heating in, in a tumor. So uh, first things first, what is tumor ablation? Uh, I touched on it a little bit, but tumor ablation is where you have a probe and you use, you insert the probe into the tumor like so. This is the probe and this is the tumor area and you insert the probe into the body and it goes, uh, penetrates the tumor and then you apply heat. And what that heat does is it causes cellular damage to the surrounding areas. Uh, this is, you know, good for cancer treatments and the like because a uh, big part of cancer treatments is uh, removing the tumors. But the big issue with uh, tumor ablation is the fact that we don't want to destroy any of the surrounding tissues. So we want a high temperature that reaches above 45 degrees Celsius within mo at least most of the tumor, but we don't want the temp temperature in the surrounding tissues to reach above uh, 40, 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, ideally, uh, the temperature around it would be 37 degrees Celsius, but it's really not dangerous until it gets over um, 40 or 41 degrees Celsius. So uh, let's get started. Uh, open your a new console file. And what we're going to do is open the model wizard. You can also do it from a blank model. But uh, I mean, you have the model wizard. That's the easiest way. So might as well use it. You're going to use this 2D uh, that with, the, with the pie in it. And you are going to go to, where is ACDC? And electromagnetic heating and joule heating module. So this is where, elect, uh, this converts electrical current in your model to heat. And this heat will be applied to the surrounding tissues. So you add it to your model. Um, and it shows you the electrical current module, the heat transfer and solids module, and the multi-physics electromagnetic heating module. So next you click and go to study. And we want it to be time dependent because uh, we, want, oh, we have a set amount of time. We want the patient to be exposed to this uh, probe because uh, you know, it's not comfortable and not an enjoyable experience. So um, click time dependent and go to done. And that was just the model that I had open. I'll just click no. And it should open the model to, yeah. So this is your interface for uh, everything that you're gonna do in console. You have your model builder, over here, you have global definitions. We're not going to use any parameters or anything, but uh, you can you can assign values to variables here um, and use those throughout the model. Um, there's uh, there's your geometry, which is what we're going to start with, um, and change that to centimeters real quick. You have your materials, your physics. And then your multi-physics, your mesh, uh, your study, and your results. We will get into the rest of these later, but we will um, we will first, you know, we have to have a model. So we're going to start on the geometry in the next portion. All right. 